mall churches. Let's talk about that. The mall. When you go to the mall, what do you go to the mall for? A lot of times you go to the mall because there's something specific that you want and you go to get it, right? Or sometimes you just feel like going to the mall because when you go to the mall, I know when I was younger, I like going to the mall. I didn't necessarily have to have money, but I was going to the mall because number one, I like to be seen. If I'm being real, I get dressed up. Me and my little friends will get dressed up and go to the mall. Now, this is like I'm I'm groaning out the house and just like maybe 20s, you know, you go to the mall because you, you want to be cute. OK, and we would love to sit. Especially with this one good friend that I had. We love, we'll just, we go, we eat, we do whatever, but we will people watch because there's so much to see. Just, in, just, it's entertaining if you really take the time to sit and just watch people in the mall, what they're doing, all of that, the food court, everything. But you can get just about anything in the mall. And that's what a lot of these churches has become. It's not a place of worship. It's not a place of you know, of holiness and consecration. This is not the place that you go to change. This is a place that you can go and just about anything will be up in there, okay? The mall is in the natural. You go there, the, mar the, the mall is compartmentalized by departments. So depending on what you want, it's there. You can go specifically to get that, okay? Um, the mall is open to everybody as long as you pay. OK, and the mall is open to everybody, even if you're just looking. But even if you're just looking, the bottom line is eventually when you look, you're going to do what? You're going to buy something. There's going to be something you will get eventually. A mall is somewhere as you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lord. The mall is somewhere you can go. Even if you do not intend to buy anything, you can still go. You can still meet somebody up in there. All of that. So just like the church. You see, you're not going to buy anything at the mall. You're just going to hang out. So guess what? You're not, it's, you, you don't have to commit to buying anything. So it's the same thing. Some people just go to church. It has nothing to do with committing. It has nothing to do with really uh, making in, any sort of uh, sure moves of being in the, doing the things of God. You're just there to look. You're just there to hang out because you can. You might meet, you know, somebody that's cute. You know, and, and y'all get to talking or whatever. But a mall is a place you can go and just loiter. You can hang out. You don't have, you can go sit in the food court and not buy anything. You can just sit and talk about people if you want to sit there, do whatever, go use the bathroom, everything, and not buy anything. You can go in and come out with absolutely nothing in your hand. You just went, you hung out, you were entertained. Sometimes they may have live music going on. You can enjoy that for free. And that's what it is. The church has just become a place to just go in and out. If you feel like buying something, meaning you feel like committing, you can. If you don't buy nothing, you don't feel like committing, you can just go in and out and get what you want. Get what you need. Meet somebody. Eat off of somebody else's plate. Meet somebody. Uh, all, all of that type of stuff. But the thing with the mall is everything is there. It will say North Star Mall. It will say, you know, uh, uh, um, Diamond Mall. It will say all these different things on there. But when you look, it has one type. But when you go in, there's Victoria's Secrets in there. There's Marshalls in there. There's Michaels in there. There's Mace, not Michaels. There's Macy's in there. There's Michael Kors in there. There's Disney in there. You go down this other place, you gonna find Annie's pretzels. If there's a mall without Annie's pretzels, it's not a mall. <laughs> or you go in, there's something, you go down here, there's be a movie theater up here. You're gonna see a GameStop in there. You're gonna see this in there, that in there. It don't matter what it says on the outside. When you go in, you can find just about anything in there and that's what's happening in the church. As long as you buy, show up. You don't have to buy, but we know you keep coming in here eventually. You keep going back and forth in here. You're going to buy something. You're going to buy something. Even if all you bought was Annie's pretzels, you got something out of this mall. Because guess what? That Whatever that mall is, they're getting something from everybody. Everybody that's renting a little space in there, they're getting some profit. So they profit off that one pretzels with that good, good lemonade they got. 
they still make money off of that. But what is it, my brothers and sisters, that I'm saying to you? Mall churches, you can go in and and compartmentalize, get just what you need. Anything and everything is available in there. There's no commitment. There's no conviction. You just come in and go as you please. As long as you put some money up in this basket, as long as you show up, as long as you're here, as long as we see you, as long as we saw each other, as long as we socialized, that's what it is, my brothers and sisters. And we've got to make it where the church is not this place where it's just, it's a circus. You understand? The church is a circus. It's where you go to see strange things going on. That's what it's becoming. And it's, you know, a lot of people, they get really frazzled when they see people on these type of platforms, speaking the word, they or on, or on Facebook or on Periscope or wherever, or people just on the corner, they want to say, well, you're not real preachers. So you tell me, <laughs> tell me where in the Bible, where it depicts what real preachers are or what real, what real Christians are. You see, it's, it's a manufactured man-made perception that you're supposed to be in this building with these people. But what's going on, my brothers and sisters, God is pulling a lot of people out. Church is about to go out like VHS, the real talk. And it was never meant for that to really be. You see, if people gather together the way that Christ ordained it, it wouldn't be a problem. A lot of you don't realize that there were a lot of home churches in the very beginning in the New Testament. When you see that, there were home churches. They had the synagogues and the things of that nature. But you would not read that they spent a great deal of time in the synagogue. Jesus will go in and he will sit, he'll fellowship. Jesus visited. <laughs> okay. But a lot of his time was spent outside in the community, in the towns, in the cities. He'll go to different places by ship. He'll travel. He was a missionary. Okay. And all of us should be missionaries in our own way. We're traveling to the store. We're traveling to school. We're traveling to work. And some of you, you travel beyond, you know, to other countries and places. You tell people about God. Let your light so shine before men. So God is using us in many different ways. But guess what? The churches, the places that used to be a safe haven, it's not anymore. The agenda has changed. Someone came up with a great idea and now it's showing and it, it's leaking and it's gotten to this place where it's excessive. And what's happening in these last days is that the Lord is simply opening up the eyes of his chosen. <laughs> He's opening up our eyes and we're seeing things. We've been seeing things, but we were confused like, okay, maybe it's me. You've been seeing things, but people are telling you, oh, well, if you leave the church, something is wrong and you won't be covered. Because Jesus is local. <laughs> so, you know, it's so amazing to me how people will be misbehaving, doing all types of stuff in the church, right? And then they don't want you to leave either. On top of that, they want to hold you hostage by saying, if you leave, then you were never a Christian. Well, I guess I was never a Christian. Bah. You know, now I'm in this place now to understand these things. But back then you'd be like, okay, you'll stay. And so now your warfare is within yourself and you praying up to go to church and being subject to being mistreated and all of that. And I would tell you just something about me. I was never, I think I told y'all in my other videos, like I was never a person that was just afraid of people like that. It was like, I respect your position, but I've never felt that type of, oh, I need you, but I would really respect you as a person and really try to see a different perspective and I will follow. But I knew that I could break camp on you if I need to, you know, but I give myself time to weigh all the odds and, you know, maybe get some egg on my face or truly think maybe it's me. You understand that will happen. But after a while, I'm like, no. So God is pulling people out of the churches and the internet has become a wonderful place to get the gospel out. Remember when the Lord said that he will not return until 
all the gospel is is being preached on all four corners of the earth and we used to think of you know and we will think how is that gonna happen my brothers and sisters in one day sometimes when i get emails i realize i've reached russia i've reached india i've reached all these different places the gospel was preached to these many people and this is just people that's talking to me there are other people people in korea people in different countries that have reached out the philippines so so you do that and put an exponential figure on it of everyone that's preaching the gospel it's getting out there so time is wrapping up so we can't be sitting up in the mall y'all we can't be sitting up in these churches right that's compartmentalized that's broken down that has everything to to meet everyone's needs to meet everyone's needs and everyone's fetishes okay <laughs> that just came to mind we got to remain focused we got to stay grounded on the things of god and do the things of the Lord. Don't get caught up. Some of you, I, as I said, I'm not against churches. There's some churches that they have. It's there. But I'm trying to tell you, don't limit yourself either. You may have a place that you go and this is your home church. And this is a place you go to get some food and some meat. But always be mindful that God, don't ever box God into just where you are right now. Be open to hear if he wants you to move, what he wants you to do, what he may want you to do in addition to be a member of this church and do not allow your pastors or anyone to be if god tells you that you need to start a channel or god tells you you need to start a specific organization just because your pastor did not get that vision does not mean that god didn't speak to you you have to realize that there's nothing in the word that says he's going to tell the head first okay all right so my brothers and sisters get out the malls and focus on doing the things of God. Peace out.